Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Mind Walker Method. I'm your host, Tony Wake, and thank you for tuning in this week where we will be looking at a useless emotion called guilt. Now, for the past three episodes, we've been looking at useless emotions, what they are, how they impact our lives. And if you haven't been following along, be sure to check out the last video that we have on shame, how to deal with shame, what it is and how to get over it. But before we get into the nuts and bolts of this week's episode, be sure to click the link down below to subscribe to this channel. Comment on any questions that you might have. I prefer feedback so that we can improve and grow as we move forward in our journey of self-improvement and self-empowerment. But now before we carry on with all of that, I want you to ask yourself and think of a time where you've felt guilty in your life. You know, when you did something quote-unquote wrong or something that you quote-unquote shouldn't have and now you feel guilty because of it. You know, that naggy little voice that tells you that "Mm, I should know better. I should not have done that. I I ought to have done something else or done something different. The coulda, woulda, shoulda, ought to have to mindset. Like I'm better than this. And because of that, I now feel guilty in a way. Now, guilt starts when we are very young, and when we start learning how to adapt and adopt and fit into society. And the purpose of guilt in the first place is to get us into an uncomfortable emotion in order to teach us how to better fit into society. Because if we start feeling uncomfortable with certain behaviors that we partake in, certain mindsets that we might have, Something that will give us that slip in society where we don't fit into society in a useful or helpful manner. And this goes way back into evolution where it's the mindset of the Cro-Magnon man. And if you're not part of the tribe, then you're an outcast. And if you're an outcast, you're going to die. And But that's a talk for a whole different time frame and a whole different episode. For now, if we look at guilt... The purpose of guilt is to get the mindset at a young age, to get the mindset of how to better fit into your tribe, into your community, into society, so that you can better socialize and fit into the quote unquote expected norm of your societal experience, into your societal environment. So you can see it as a very early behavior modifier in a way. But now that's all good and well when you're a young child or a toddler and you're learning to fit into society. But now that you've grown up, now that you've matured and you are an active member in society, how is guilt helping you in any way? Sure, we might still be making mistakes in our lives. Yes, we might be behaving in ways that aren't conducive to a healthy societal interaction or a healthy personal boundary action, maybe. But that guilt, other than serving the purpose to point out to you what still needs to change, how many of us still hold on to that guilt long after the occurrence or the experience has past and it's dissolved and it's moved on. How many of us still hold on to that guilt and we keep beating ourselves up about it? Oh, I'm still so bad and I'm still so wrong and I shouldn't have done this. And then it's a year or two years later and you're still beating yourself up about it. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to look at four ways and four steps that you can take to alleviate that guilt that you're feeling, that guilt of, oh, I could have, would have, should have, and I know better, and I should have done something else, how to alleviate that, get back on track, learn from the experience, empower yourself, become more, become better, and move on in life on your journey to be so much more than what you currently are. So if you're ready and you want to continue on, be be sure to share this episode to others who might benefit from it, and let's dig into how to deal with guilt and the four steps and the four actions you can take in order to move that much closer to where you want to be in life. Now, step number one or point number one that I want to bring out and focus on is ask yourself the question, whenever you begin to feel that guilt, ask yourself the question, 
What is the purpose of this guilt? Is this guilt appropriate for the situation, for the circumstance, for my experience in this moment? That which I'm feeling guilty about, is it appropriate? What is it trying to teach me? What exactly am I feeling guilty about? Because you get healthy and unhealthy guilt. Healthy guilt is the mindset of it's trying to teach me something. It's wanting to point my attention into something that I can either remove from my life in order to be a better human being altogether, or it's something that I need to learn to do better in my life in order to get me that much closer to personal empowerment. That's the healthy guilt. That's the healthy mindset. Unhealthy guilt is the type of emotion that sticks around long after the experience has already moved on. It's that guilt where you you keep mulling it around in your mind and you keep thinking about it and you keep hammering on it and you keep beating yourself up about it and you keep feeling that guilt within. Because the moment you keep doing that, you keep feeling that guilt, it's basically keeping you stuck in the spot. Because the purpose of guilt at its core base is to help us evolve and grow and learn and become more. And it goes back to the pain pleasure threshold that I mentioned in one of our earlier videos, where human beings will do whatever they can to get away from pain and move towards pleasure. And that's what guilt basically does. It creates a discomfort, an uncomfortable experience in the experience that you've had that you're feeling guilty about in order to move you away from that discomfort and more towards uh, an experience of, of pleasure, an experience of growth, an experience of being more knowing that you can deal with the situation in a much healthier experience. Which brings me to point number two. Point number two is for you to make changes. Knowing and not doing is not really knowing at all. So it doesn't help if you start experiencing this guilt. You ask yourself the question, what is the purpose of this? What is it trying to teach me? And then you get the answer to it. Oh, it's trying to teach me to communicate more effectively or be more respectful or set healthier boundaries or whatever the case might be. And now that you have that knowledge, if you do not act on it, if you do not make the actual changes in your behavior, in your mindset, in your life, then what's the use of having that knowledge in the first place? So knowing and not doing is not knowing at all. So step number one is asking what's the purpose of this. And once you get an answer to that, step number two is to make the necessary changes. Start changing your behavior. Start looking at ways to empower yourself more, to set healthier boundaries, to change the environment, to change your experience within the environment, to change your behavior so that either you take better behavior in those situations or you remove it all together so that you do not behave in that way ever again in any situation. How are you growing from this? What are you learning from this? And that brings me to point number three. Point number three is that you need to move on. So many of us stay stuck in guilt because we stay in the situation, in the experience, in our minds. It might be a year or two or three years that you've already been removed out of that situation, but you keep replaying it in your mind. You keep reliving it in your physical body, in your experience, in your emotions. And as long as you're experiencing that within your body and within your emotions, you're going to stay stuck there in your mind. Because the purpose of guilt is, like we said, to help you grow and evolve and become better. And in order to do that, when you take the action, you need to move on in life. Because guilt is situational. You only feel guilty in the situation about something that happened in that time frame, in that occurrence. The moment it's moved on and the moment you've been removed out of that situation and you're in a different environment and in a different situation, the guilt begins to alleviate itself. The guilt begins to, to go away and dissolve all by itself because now you're out of that situation, you begin to move on from it. So if you know that that changes the experience of guilt, then take action to remove yourself out of the situation. Remove yourself and begin to move on. Yes, learn what you need to learn from the experience. Gather the information you need, but then cut that experience off. You've taken what you needed from it. Integrate that change. Begin to live that way and move on in life, which is point number four. 
You need to learn. What can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? These are the questions that you need to ask yourself whenever you feel, quote unquote, guilty. Because as long as you're feeling that guilt and as long as you stay stuck in it and it's this heavy, oh, woe is me experience, then you're going to stay stuck in that unhelpful emotion. But the moment you ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? How can I change my situation? How is this making me better? And you're learning that experience and you're taking it into your mind and you begin to move on through it. Now you begin to learn how to make it part of who you are, to take that change with you wherever you may go. So those are the four steps. You can go through this video again, learn from them, learn how to ask better questions. And at the crux of it, This is what guilt and the experience of guilt is wanting to do for you. So whenever you feel guilt from this point onwards, I want you to be skeptical about it. Now, what do I mean with be skeptical? Don't just go into the mindset of, oh, I feel guilty and I could have, would have, should have, and what could I have done differently? And be skeptical and ask yourself, is this guilt appropriate? What is it trying to teach me? Should I feel guilty about this? Did I actually do something quote unquote wrong? Be skeptical about the experience of guilt, but also be honest about it. I mean, we we know a lot of narcissists and egomaniacs who believe that, no, I'm not guilty and I didn't do anything wrong and it's everybody else's fault. And that's an unhealthy mindset to have. But as long as you are honest with yourself and you take a good hard look at what am I learning from this? How am I growing from this? Then you'll notice that the experience of guilt, that useless emotion is actually something that is helping you to grow and evolve. So keep growing, keep learning, keep becoming better and becoming more of who you want to be in life. Because as always, the power is in your hands. That's the main mindset that you need to have. If it's meant to be, it's up to me, right? That's the mindset that you need to have. Keep growing, keep pushing, keep evolving, keep learning and keep becoming more of who you want to be. So that's it for this week's episode of the Mind Walker Method. Thank you for tuning in. If you learned something from this and it helped you grow and evolve and expand your mindset in some way, please share this episode, comment below, let me know what you think, because with your feedback, we can just continue to grow and create together to become better at who we want to be. Until next week, when we delve into more facts and ideas of emotions and the mind and behavior, I'm Tony Wake. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next week on The Mindwalker Method. Goodbye.